Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the mini training series, Creating Prosperity Formula. I'm Milan Levis, Financial Independence Mentor, and today we're going to talk about part three of the uh, formula, which stands for ALIGN. Grow your wealth, live on your terms. All right, so before we begin talking about part three of the formula, let me briefly review what we already uh, discussed in previous uh, mini trainings. First, first uh, step or part was uh, dream, uh, D for dream. And we talked about not uh, creating your life randomly, consciously knowing what kind of dream, what kind of vision you want to experience in life. Right, so the first the first step in creating prosperity is know what you want to experience consciously, dream or desire. The second step was decision, decide. You've got to decide that you're gonna go for it. You you've got to decide that this is it. You had enough. You you had enough of worrying about money. You had enough of not feeling fully alive, and you have to make the decision that. It's not negotiable that you're going to do whatever it takes to create this vision, this dream lifestyle that you have. And today we're going to talk about step three, which, like I said, steps stands for a line, a line. So I was in my early 40s. I was working for a prestigious uh, Wall Street company, and uh, there was nothing on the surface that could explain what started happening to me. It was something was brewing inside me. I lost the meaning, I lost the drive. I experienced void inside that I could not explain. And of course, at that time, I had no idea that there are two very important, uh, fundamental, actually biblical principles of success. Number one, know yourself. And number two, be true to yourself. Do whatever supports your truth. And for me, it was absolutely unknown territory. I didn't know my values. I was not clear about my dreams. I was basically being a machine, doing what people expected me to do and um, not really digging deep inside what was happening with me. So I became a shopaholic. I was trying to fill the void that I was experiencing inside by material stuff. And you know what? Material stuff cannot really fill this void because you can never have enough of what you don't need. So today we're going to talk about the reasons people experience um, don't experience the dreams that they have. They they don't really they want to uh, have certain experiences. They feel that they do everything that they can, and yet it's still not happening for them. And some of the main reasons are conflicts of values, conflicts of beliefs, conflicts of uh, behavior patterns, conflicts of desires, and con conflicts of uh, time uh, resources. So all of this, the whole scope is covered in my program, uh, Creating Prosperity Formula, online program that you can find on my website. But today I will focus on two top uh, conflicting um, uh, matters. One is conflicting um, values and another one is conflicting beliefs. So let me just give you examples what people experience when they have conflicting values from examples of my clients, for example, or, or women I meet. I want to have passive income. I want to work because I want to, not because I have to. So I need to have passive income. However, I don't I don't really like investing. I don't really want to learn how to invest. You see the conflict? Another example would be, I really like luxurious lifestyle. I like beautiful things. I, I, really, uh, I really want to feel that I don't ever need to worry about money. But I don't like to talk about money and I don't like wealthy people. Um, I don't like to look at my cash flow. You see the conflict of values? And um, another one would be, I, I want to be a public speaker. I want to be a successful uh, business owner. 
I want to be excellent at what I do, but I don't want to invest resources, money, efforts, time into accomplishing this, into having a coach or guide to uh, support me uh, on my journey. So these are examples of conflicting values. And many people have this uh, very unconscious blocks that they experience and they don't even know why it's happening. So next, I want to talk about, give you examples of uh, conflicting beliefs. So again, uh, give, uh, let me give you an example from uh, what I see in my clients, what I see in uh, some women who I speak to. I do want to, uh, I want to be wealthy. I want to be financially independent. I, I want to be in a position when money is no longer a concern or, or a cause of worries and anxiety. But I don't think I, I'm worthy to be wealthy. Nobody in my family was wealthy. I, I think it's really hard to create wealth. Um, I don't want to work crazy hours uh, in order to be wealthy. I don't want to feel uh, that I have to manage a lot of money because I don't know how to manage money. I'm not good with money. I'm not good with investing. So all of these examples that I shared with you are happening in the subconscious mind. People don't even realize it. People don't realize that they want to be wealthy, but they think it's somewhere outside of them. Some, something that is maybe available for someone else, but not for them. They cannot imagine normalizing wealth in their life. Okay, so I just gave you a couple of examples of conflicting beliefs and conflicting values. Now, how can you handle this so it will be, you will get into alignment with uh, uh, your values, your beliefs, and your dreams and desires. So first of all, the first step that I would recommend, and by the way, in, my, in, in the program that I refer to, there are eight steps. But let's talk about top three. First is you really have to get the inventory of uh, what is happening in your life. Inventory that you, uh, of your life where you will take an honest and um, curious look at what is happening like where in your life you really feel you're not aligned with your dreams you're not aligned with your um, values there is a where there is a conflict between your values and your desires between your beliefs and your vision okay very honest look second is you've got to look at your money right follow the money look at your cash flow because our financial well-being is a reflection of what is happening in our mind right so it's it's almost like whatever what is within so without it's pictured out whatever is happening with your beliefs and your um, um your beliefs and your assumptions and your perceptions is get pictured out in your physical life. So that's step two. Look at your cash flow and see what is happening there with honesty and curiosity. And step three, and it's a very important step and um, it's uh, too simple to believe that it's powerful. You've got to choose to focus on what you can do, on what you have, and what is working in your life. Because by default, humans focus on what is not working, what is missing, what they cannot do. So these three simple how-tos will help you to reconcile your conflicts uh, and feel and be and act and make decisions that are aligned with your vision, with your dream lifestyle, with your prosperous lifestyle, all right? So that's all for today. And I want to end uh, with these two questions. I want to invite you to ask yourself these two questions. Do you know, do you really know yourself? Do you know your dreams? Do you know your values, your core values? Do you know your beliefs? Okay, that's very important because that's what you need to figure out what, what uh, conflicts you may have. And the second question to ask yourself where in my life 
I feel out of alignment with my beliefs, with my values, with my uh, lifestyle that I want to experience, with my pr prosperous lifestyle. So ask these two questions, and I will see you next week, the same place, the same time. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a blessed day, and uh, I wish you wealth, health, and freedom.